My name is Rowda Yusuf. I was born in Magdisha, Somalia in 1988. I grew up in Rufiyo Chikam in Ethiopia. I got resettlement in 2009 and I fly to America on December 7, 2011. When I landed in New York, I was ready to collect my suitcase. Unfortunately, I lost one of my suitcases. I searched for a few minutes but it was not found. I started to register with the staff in the airport. They asked me what it looked like and what was inside the suitcase. They said, do you know what color and how many boundaries it is? I told them there were pictures in the suitcase. The most important thing was my picture album. I told them that they could recognize me in the picture. The album had my gallery's picture and my friend Ibrahim's picture. There were also some cultural clothes in the suitcase. I really felt sad about time. After that, the woman who was luring me said, let us check the bus. At that time, I was with my little girl and my sister Rahma. When we reached the train station, the woman said to us, enter the train. I asked myself, what is this? Is this a station or house? I was confused. I had never seen train before. I got to one night in a New York hotel, then we took a flight to Amarillo, Texas. After nine months, I started work at a meat company in Cactus. It was hard and freezing. I worked with my knife as I was standing in line. Also, I worried about my children and how to take care of them. But I came down when I got my first check. It covered my basic knowledge. I felt happy because if the person is not walking, he or she has a lot of problems. One day I decided to move into Minnesota because life is better than Texas. Now I have work and school thanks to the government because they play a big role in my life. Now my responsibility is to continue my life education and work to get a better life in the future. I think about that suitcase when I go home because my daughter's picture was in there. She's my first baby, so I like her picture. I miss all the Somali cultural clothes that were in there. I miss the Angela band I had with me. In Somali, it is hard to work. All that was lost. Since I have been in America, I have taken new photos of my daughter. I found the Somali clothes like a chap, dira, thrice. I have a new band to make a dawa. I feel okay about this, but if I go back to Somalia, I will get those things again. And I bring you back to Minnesota. This is important to me because I wanted to support and keep our culture.